Hi guys, I've got another book today uh, for how to um, be using literature to teach kids math. And again, this is for kids in, uh, well, anywhere from preschool all the way up to grade two. You can, or even maybe a little bit higher, you can change it to whatever level that the kid is in to make it a little bit more in depth um, or just a little bit simpler. Uh, today we're going to go through this one. I love Peg plus Cat. Uh, the books are great. The show's great, too. Um, the books, though, of course, you can, you can read them, and you guys can play with them, and it's, not, it's a little bit more interactive. This one is Peg Plus Cat, The Camp Problem, and this one goes through counting by fives and tens. So first what you would do is you would read the book, um, and it's a little bit longer. And then uh, you see they are going to start showing you the kiddos, um, the difference between five and ten. And in the story, they're going to count by fives and tens. So what I do is I read the story, uh, just enjoy the story, and then after the story is over, uh, we, we then play the games. So then you're going to play the games. Uh, first, what we do is re reenact the story. So right here, especially here, um, what we do is maybe get a piece of paper um, or just make a drawing of, uh, two animals, or you can write it. Uh, you could say, you know, the beavers and the raccoons, and then you're going to get just some sort of a block, any kind of blocks, maybe even a bucket of blocks like this. And on your big sheet where you've got somehow it's labeled that this row is going to be here and this row is going to be here, you'll have the kids take them out. So you say, okay, so we got five, five for the beavers. And then you're going to start seeing the difference. Here's one category. Five and ten. And it's going to go on and on and on. Oop. Running off the sheet. I'll go this way. And then down on the below, right below it, you're going to have them count out. You can have them count by twos. You can have them count by ones. It doesn't really matter. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And they can actually visually see the difference between 5 and 10. And what does that mean? It really works on their math senses. What does that look like? That is twice as big as that pile. Have them go all the way out, all the way through. You can keep going further. I wouldn't have them play the game. You can if you want. Uh, <laughs> typically, it ends up having uh, upset kids. And we're not trying to, uh, well, we're just trying to have them enjoy math or learn uh, that math can be fun and interesting and, and how to visualize it. Maybe not so if you've got competitive kiddos. So that's the, that's the first thing I do with this book. Um, there's a couple other things that you can do um, if you're trying to teach how to count by fives and tens or any number, count by twos, um, is I have this, in which I just had an old puzzle that I wrote on, just wrote five, ten, fifteen, twenty, all the way up. I have some for this. I've got tens, I've got twos, I've got all of them. And what I like about this, is, and you can just draw a picture on popsicle sticks, it doesn't really matter, is it's self-correcting in this particular one. So let's say you've got a kiddo that does uh, 10, 5, 15, 20. You go, oh, wow, that doesn't quite look right. And then they can, you know, move it around until they get there. And so what I do like about that is that it's self-correcting if you've got the popsicle sticks, and then you can see, and you can count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I have them for, like, here's another one, and it doesn't have to be. This is just cool. I just happen to have this. I got a thrift store. Um, so then here, you know, you got the tens, and, uh, uh, yep, okay, 10, 20, and again, it's kind of self-correcting, so a little less so. It really does help to have that board, and then they can move them around. 10, 15, 20, or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and you got a boat. Um, so there's a couple of things that I do with this particular book. Um, again, I really like the, the Peg Plus Cat books. Um, any of them are great. But this one's pretty fun. You can definitely reenact it, uh, read it. It's a little bit longer. It's not as long as a picture book. And uh, remember, what you're trying to do is uh, show that math is fun. Math is fun. Picture books are fun. Kids love picture books. They love literature. And then they, they come into school with this huge math fear, uh, which you don't want. 
it's just not good for a holistic long-term view. Uh, so this is great. Reenact the book. Um, and uh, cool. We'll do some more of these uh, another day. Thank you.